face. What is up, guys? Welcome back to T Town Raids. My name is Travis, and today we are going to talk about how to use bowlers at Town Hall 11. These are both going to be mass bowler strategies, but let's go ahead and jump into the warlock here, and I'll show you both of them. The first one, in my opinion, is the easiest to do and is the uh, higher higher percentage uh, three star uh, chance of the two strategies. But let's go ahead and jump into three star here on a base uh, near pretty pretty near max base. Going to only briefly talk about them and then show them to you. But here's the general strategy on this one right here. You got 28 bowlers. So what you're going to do is you're going to drop. Uh, five bowlers, two healers uh, to create one side of the funnel. You're going to drop five bowlers and two healers to create this side of the funnel. Um, you can go ahead and pre-drop your jumps. going to jump here and here. What that's going to do is that's basically going to open up this whole portion of the base. Um, then you got one freeze. You're going to use that on the second Inferno Tower. And then you're just going to send all of your bowlers and your healers, uh, your last healer and your heroes just right up the gut here. Um, use the use the Grand Warden's ability when they engage the first Inferno Tower, and then just go ahead and rage into both Inferno Towers. All the uh, the tricky part, actually, there's no real tricky part. You just got to use your spells kind of at the right time. But let's go ahead and remove that, and we'll watch it. So as you can see, with at Town Hall uh, 10 and 11, you can go ahead and pre-drop your jumps. They're a minute; they last long enough. But that's going to open up the whole base. I like to do it first. Just uh, so you don't have to worry about it. We're going to drop five bowlers, two healers, five bowlers, two healers. That's just going to help create a funnel. Then I'm going to send my uh, bowlers in a way that's going to just kind of send them into that jump with a one healer behind them. Then I'm going to send all of my heroes in right behind. I'm going to wait until the CC, uh, CC comes out. I'm going to go ahead and pop the Grand Warden's ability because the Infernos are going ahead already and targeting the bowlers going to go ahead and rage them up for the second time, trying to just rage them into that eagle artillery and into that second inferno tower. And the bowlers are just going to kind of push through the base really quickly. And the healers are just going to do a nice job just kind of transitioning to whichever uh, bowler and whichever unit needs to be healed. That freeze, that, set, that freeze on that second inferno does give your healers a chance to heal those bowlers in the center. Um, you can kind of play with that fifth spell, but I actually like it as a freeze. I'm going to go ahead and speed it up here because there's really not much left um, other than popping the, the Queen's ability. Queen pops the Queen's ability. Going to go ahead and take care of quite a bit of the defenses on the uh, top portion. Going to hit and drop that last minion. But the rest of this raid is just kind of the healers and the bowlers just kind of cleaning up the rest of the base. There, it, This is kind of a spammy attack, <clears throat> and there is a little bit of luck in it. But whenever you do it, uh, all bowlers and create the funnel with the bowlers, um, actually very high success rate, three-star. It actually works better on the anti three star bases than it does on the trophy bases on the trophy bases I've actually had more success on the second strategy I'm going to show you it's an archer queen walk to set the funnel and a golem and wizard to set the funnel on the second side but uh, it's kind of up to you this this first strategy is more effective and it's easier to use I know I've had a better better chance of I've had more three stars with the, the first way than the second way we're gonna go ahead and jump into the next attack here it's an attack on the number one very similar strategy. I'm going to set the funnel here with the Archer Queen at 3 o'clock. I'm going to wall break her in with, uh, set the second edge with golems and wizards and then wall break her in and then you'll see two jumps. You can go ahead and pre-jump, open up the whole base similar there. Drops the golem, uh, drops the wizards in just to create the set, that funnel, sends in the wall breakers. Once those wall breakers go in, i got 24 bowlers. Just going to uh, send them in with one finger right after the heroes. All those bowlers are definitely going to go into the center of the base. If you can get the bowlers into the core and you can rage them, um, it's pretty much game over. Always bring two uh, two uh, poisons just for the CC. As you can see, that's minions. The minions are on the Barb King. He's almost dead. Going to go ahead and rage them up where needed. I didn't bring a freeze on this one. Like I said, you can bring three rages and then just use the uh, Grand Warden's ability. I actually recommend three rages if the Inferno Towers are so close that when you pop the Warden's ability you can almost get both of them. As you can see both of them are already down and they haven't been uh, uh, not invincible for very long. And as you can see they're just pushing through the middle of the space. Archer Queen 
decides to go around. I really didn't care if she could went in or out. I knew the healers would kind of just transition to whichever defense or whichever troops needed it. Um, ton of bowlers up. Look at all those bowlers still up, just kind of wrecking shop. This, this base actually even has some of the newer cannons, level 14. Those things look pretty sweet. Not all of them, but uh, one there at the 7 o'clock side. But going to go ahead and speed it up here just because it's just a healer cleanup, bowler, a bowler healer, archer queen cleanup. Not much... Uh, not that exciting to watch, but a, a very solid base um, that uh, if you have max bowlers, uh, max heroes, and this is only level tw 12 ward, and if you had level 20, it'd work slightly better. This just goes to show you bowlers are taking over at Town Hall 11. Not that much skill in either of these attacks, but a very high chance that you three-star base if you use this attack. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed and you like what you're seeing, subscribe. Uh, hit the subscribe button for me. Most importantly, guys, leave me a comment, uh, uh, good or bad. Just let me know what you think. Uh, and what do you guys think of these bowlers? These bowlers, to me, uh, kind of spammy, but in my opinion, are still super fun at the Town Hall uh, 11 level. All right, guys, this is Travis from T-Town Raids. Peace.